First things first, open up Affinity and drag in the photo you want to use. Hey, look at that, an ugly sky. Head over to the toolbar and use your selection brush tool. You can use the brackets on your keyboards to increase your brush size and make a really rough selection of your sky. Now go up and click refine so we can make a better selection. Now we can zoom into our image and start selecting the things that are usually pretty hard to select, like this tree. You can just click and drag around the thing that you need to select, and the program's pretty smart, so you can usually be pretty careless around this. You can see on here that I'm kind of just dragging wherever and hoping that it works, and it does. Now that the majority of it's selected, we can hold down shift and click and drag to start taking away the things that we don't need. And again, you can be pretty rough with this because it's kind of like a mind reader. It kind of knows what you want to select and what you don't want to select. Now let's scan our horizon and make sure that we've selected everything that we need to select. Looks like these poles we're trying to escape our selection. Be sure to select them. We don't want them getting away. Now that we're done with that, just hit apply, and now we have our selection. Come down and hit mask layer. Now that we have our mask, all I have to do is hit control D to get rid of those marching ants. Go to your layers, make sure that mask is selected, and hit control I to invert that mask. And now our sky's gone. Now you can import an image with an actual beautiful sky. Move and scale that image around just to make sure it fills up your entire frame. To make sure you're not using anything you don't want in the sky image, put it at 50% opacity and just make sure you move it all the way down to the point where you're not getting any of that horizon. Then you can bring it back to 100% opacity and move that layer below your background layer. Hey, look at that. We have a new sky. Also, because of the way we did this, we can now import any image of any sky that we want and use that as our sky layer. Just make sure that the layer that you want is below your background layer, and you can use that as your new sky image. You can now even swap between them just like you're playing God. But sometimes your sky layer won't fit perfectly in your scene because the colors are off. So you can use the HSL sliders to kind of move them around and get it to fit in your scene. Usually you just have to move around the saturation and luminance, and it should fit pretty well. But hey, with that, you're all done. You can even see the before and after. And you can see that our selection on the tree wasn't perfect, but uh, neither am I but I think it works out fine. It looks great. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you have a great day. See ya.